I'm going to be using the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. I use colour 112 Amber. It's a really lovely foundation, especially if you want your makeup to last all day. It just gives your skin a really lovely glow. And to apply it, I'm going to be using the Nanshi Makeup Brush. And as you can see, it's a flat top brush. I prefer them because it seems to blend my foundation a lot better and just gives it quite a dewy glow, which I quite like. So that's really nice. Keep blending your foundation into your jawline, neck, everywhere just to make sure that your skin looks really, really good. And here I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette in Light Medium. I really like this palette as there's so many colours to choose from and you can just use it as you wish. Here I'm using it to cover any little marks and blemishes and I'll also be using it under my eye, around my nose, on the arch of your eyebrow because that'll just give, that'll just brighten the area and generally anywhere that you just want to conceal. As you can see I'm not actually using any other brushes, um, I tend to use my fingers when I'm blending concealer as the heat from your skin will just blend things a lot better and make things look a lot more natural too. And here I'm just setting my makeup with a little bit of powder, this will just keep everything in place and reduce any excess shine. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Affirmation Ultra Eyeshadows Palette. You might have seen this on the blog as I did a review on it. There is 32 gorgeous colours in here which I'll be showing you in just a minute. Um, and you can see that there is such a variety of colours to create some lovely looks from. But as we're going for an everyday makeup look, we are going to be keeping it quite simple. I'm going to start with Pledge for the base colour. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using Reveal and then Off, which is the one. There we go. Um, this will just add a lovely warmth to the whole look and give my eyes a bit of depth because we don't want to be looking washed out. I'm using the Nanchi Large Shader Brush. As you can just about see, it's a flat brush. It's quite small, but I tend to use this for all of my eyeshadow base colours. I just find it works really well and it's a brush that I use every single day. And here I've just started to apply Reveal and as you can see it's a lovely shimmer but it's just started to give my eye a little bit of depth which is exactly what we want. And here I've just started to use the colour Oath. I'm focusing on the crease and on the outer edge of the eye. And I'm using the Nanshi Blending Brush. Um, I don't want to be doing a full smoky eye as I do want to keep the whole look quite subtle. But here I've just started to build and add a bit of warmth to avoid us looking washed out. And you can also take the colour up to the lower lash line just to make sure everything blends and looks really, really lovely. And we're not going to forget our eyebrows. Here I'm using the Essence Eyeshadow. It's a single eyeshadow in colour 5353 Pop Eye. It says it's a shimmer, but it's not. It's actually a matte colour, it's black. And I'm also using the Nanshi Flat Definer Brush. As you can tell by the name, it's a flat brush. And I tend to use this for defining my eyebrows and for applying eyeliner as it just makes things a lot easier and it just defines everything a lot better. Mm -hmm. 
what I'm actually trying to show you here, but again my camera didn't want to autofocus, is the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Colour Precision Glide Eyeliner in colour black velvet. This is an eyeliner that I tend to use every day for creating looks like this, and it's perfect if you're not confident with eyeliner as this just glides along your lash line and it just makes it just does the job for you, it makes things a lot easier. You can use it on the lower lash line to define your eye and it also smudges too if you do want to create a very subtle smoky eye. So it's one of them all round good eyeliners that I do recommend you have. And here I'm using the Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions Mascara in colour black. It's a really lovely mascara and it just lengthens your lashes for a lovely, lovely look. Um, it's very close to my top favourite one, which is the YSL Mascara, but this does come a very, very close second. Here I'll be using the Essence Silky Touch Blush in colour 4 Zero Natural Beauty. Um, in my opinion this is more of a bronzer which is why I'm using it on the cheekbones and on my face just to give my skin a really lovely warm healthy glow. What I'm trying to show you here is the Essence XXXL long-lasting lip gloss. It's a matte effect lip gloss and the colour is soft nude um, and here is where my camera decided to stop recording so here I am again. Yay! There I am! <laughs> um, and I'm trying to show you again. For some reason my camera did not want to autofocus on anything today. Um, this is a really lovely colour. It's, it's, it's a lovely matte effect lip gloss and it's not at all drying like you can get with some lip glosses out there. This is actually really, really nourishing and it's just something that I tend to have in my handbag and I use it more or less every day. So it's a really lovely colour to have. And as you can see, it also does give the appearance of plumper lips too, which is really, really nice. So here we have the finished look and this is me fixing my hair. Um, it's a really lovely look that I tend to do every day. Sometimes I will add a bit more of a smoky eyed look, it just depends on how I'm feeling. And the nice thing about this is that it doesn't take too long to create either, um, which I thought it would be quite nice to show you in the tutorial. And here I will be showing you the two Makeup Revolution palettes that I used, the lip gloss which I'm wearing and in a minute I'll also be grabbing the mascara. It's a look that I think suits everyone and as I said it doesn't take too long which is really good especially if you're in a rush and you still want to look okay. Um, so yeah, that is the look. There we have silly faces as well in this tutorial. Well I really hope you enjoyed this video, um, I tried to explain everything as easily as possible so do let me know if there is anything specific or a specific look that you want to see and I'll be more than happy to do it as this will be something that I'll be doing regularly.